its new update has brought secret changes here at the Snow Vault. <laughs> the return of the visitor to our Fortnite game. And Fortnite's newest giant boss. And they're insane. You may have heard the disturbing sounds underneath the ground at the desert biome locations. And players believe that something giant is coming up through. But first, the Snow Vault found at the Ice Glacier in-game has just been updated. And it seems that something has been scratching at the vault and is possibly soon to escape. Hey, yo. They ain't kidding, dog. I actually didn't know there were scratch marks here the first time I came here. That were the first and the second time. I must have completely missed them. Oh, unless they were actually added in the most recent update. Epic Games is trying to indicate to us that something is scratching their way at this giant vault door. The question is, what the heck is it? Are you still in there? Are you still making like crazy noises? Whatever, whatever. Yeah, 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 bro, bro is still in there, dog. Hold on, wait a minute, can we see through here? Are we seen through here? Oh, uh, hello? Hello? I'm joking, of course, but there are definitely scratch marks here at the vault's location, whether they were just added in the most recent updates or whether they've been here the whole time. It indicates that something with claws was either dragged inside the vault or is one day to escape the vault. We don't yet know who is inside, but we believe that it has something to do with Godzilla. As leaks have revealed that some kind of giant monster is underneath the ice. We've talked about it loads. So I'm gonna spare you guys the detail in this video. Thank hey, you you're so welcome. Much. In the latest updates, we have also seen the return of the visitor to our Fortnite game. The visitor is one of the members of the Seven, who was in fact the first member of the Seven to be introduced to us in the Fortnite storyline. We first met the visitor back in Chapter 1, in the first ever Fortnite live event, which was the Rocket event. And we last saw the visitor being consumed by Chrome in Chapter 3 of Season 4. But it now seems that the visitor has survived yes, in Fortnite sir. Chapter Five. And he can be found in a secret location just outside the Nitro Dome. A location the players have to look carefully to find the secrets of the arrival of the visitor. Uh. Hey, yo, up. Uh where, where's, where's the visitor? Hey, where is he? But this is supposed to be the location where we can find the visitor. Hey, what's up, Jones? Hey, I'm looking for the visitor, dog. You seen him? From chapter one, season seven, rocket launch event. Uh, so apparently this location, we should be able to find some piece of evidence that the visitor is actually here in our Fortnite game. Right, if the visitor is actually going to be returning to Fortnite, that's going to be the coolest thing ever, dog. I want to find his helmet so bad. I actually think for a lot of people, the visitor is like maybe their most nostalgic character in the Fortnite storyline ever. He's where it all started. Ah! Bro took way too many bullets, dog. Oh, Jones, I'm looking for, like, the visitor, dog. You know the visitor? Wow, I just love what they've done to the place. Blind sand, scorching sun, a power-crazed tyrant, my favorite. I've been told that I'm the strong and silent type. I think that's pretty accurate. Hold on, did you say strong and silent type? I've been told I am the strong and silent type. I think that's pretty accurate. Wait a minute. Strong and silent are two words that we've heard before in Fortnite's history. Strong and silent was originally used to describe the visitor. All the way back in chapter one, the visitor's description literally reads, an explorer and navigational expert here to help chart the best course of action for the seven. These days, he's more of the strong, silent type. There was many theories back in the day that the visitor was in fact Agent Jones, as their characters had many different overlaps, which might explain their connection. Yo, so that must mean that Vengeance Jonesy, Agent Jones, Bro. And so that must mean. Bro. So that must mean that Vengeance Jones or Agent Jones is in fact the visitor. And our theories were all right all along. Fortnite's latest updates has added something giant underneath the sand biome in our Fortnite game. You may have heard disturbing sounds in the desert biome locations in the Fortnite's latest update. And players are starting to believe that Epic Games has added something giant at these locations. Suggestions of a giant sandworm has been rumored to be arriving to Fortnite for some time. Ever since the arrival of the Dune outfits, all the way back in Chapter 2, talks of a sandworm worm creature had been circulating online, but we had never received a full desert biome.
biome within chapter 3, 4, or 5. Well, that was until now. Megalodon has arrived to our Fortnite islands, bringing with him a giant sand biome in which fuel is being dug up out of the ground to power his boat. And players now believe that this fuel is not the only thing coming out of the ground this season. Dune outfits are set to arrive again this season, which of course would be a perfect fit for this season's theme. With this, there are already talks of a monster coming to our Fortnite Season 3 game. Megalodon says he is awaking his Leviathan to destroy our island. A Leviathan is a water snake worm thing, which of course is not technically a sandworm, but this could be Epic Games' way of throwing us off the trail, as Megalodon seems to have much more in common with the Wasteland Sand Biome than he does the water. We've also heard throughout the last few seasons that a giant monster is coming to our Fortnite game, and we have not seen him yet. In the latest Fortnite update, a Season 3 secret Easter egg has been added. Anwar, the Story Keeper, informs us that eons ago, a hungry beast consumed stars afar, and the great beast grew restless, and he then hints that the beast is on the hunt. Oh, uh, okay. And of course, we already know from the Oracle that some dark monster is coming to our islands called the Wanderer. And it seems to be connected to the storm clouds that are in-game right now. And you may have even forgotten that Stellan, the Rift Warden, told us all the way back in Chapter 4 that a beautiful, a beautiful monster, monster enabled by the hubris of a champion would soon come to Fortnite. Whether this is the monster in question or not, well, we don't yet know. But coming into game right now and listening to the ambience to sand locations. Yeah, it kind of sounds like there might be something under the sand. I mean, it's pretty hard to say because, uh, because the more you turn your sound up to hear the ambience, the more you start to pick up the weird sounds that Epic Games has added in. But yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, there are these giant, like, ridges that go all the way around. You can see it's like some kind of sandy creature has moved through the desert. I mean, if there was ever a season to add giant sandworms into Fortnite, this would be the season. And with the Dune characters to be re-released, there really could be a giant sandworm under our islands. <laughs> Hey, bro, where'd you get a gun from? You would literally chill a moment ago. What happened? And of course, the fact that in the loading screen, with the actual Dune outfits, we literally saw a giant sandworm in our game. This at least means that Epic Games has an idea for what a giant sandworm would look like in Fortnite. Even if it does look a bit goofy. Goofy looking. Bro, I've never been in this room before. Was it always like this? Yo, this looks crazy. What? 